Hello. In this video, we're going to look at an integration by parts question that requires more than one iteration. And then we're going to see the shortcut used on the same integral. My name is Nakai Rimmer, and I'm here to guide you through this. All right, first up, we're going to integrate x squared e to the 5x. With our mnemonic, our hierarchy, what we have is that there are no log functions, there are no inverse trig functions, but there isn't, there is a function that is algebraic. It's the x squared. Now I just want to show you why we have that hierarchy. Say you didn't follow that hierarchy and you chose the exponential to be u. Well, let me show you why that fails. If you choose the exponential to be u, then what happens with that when you take the derivative, it stays as um, that exponential du is 5 e to the 5x. When you take the derivative of the x squared, it goes up in exponent, it becomes x cubed over 3. And so when you put together the integration by parts formula, uv minus the integral of v du, you're trading in your integral for the product, one third of x cubed e to the 5x. But then the integral v du is 5 thirds x cubed e to the 5x. You trade it in an x squared e to the 5x integral for an x cubed e to the 5x integral. You've gone up an exponent. It isn't getting simpler. It's getting more complicated. It should be the other way around. So if you ignore the hierarchy, these are the kind of things that could happen. You don't get any progress. The hierarchy says that you should let u be equal to the algebraic function in the absence of log and inverse trig. And so we have our algebraic function x squared. That should be what u is. The derivative of that is 2x dx. The integral of e to the 5x looks just like the derivative. It still has that same guy in it, e to the 5x, but there's a 1 over 5 out front. Once again, we have the formula uv minus the integral of v du. And so we'll do the product one fifth of x squared e to the five x minus the integral of v du minus the integral of two fifths x e to the five x. We traded in x squared e to the five x for the integral on x e to the five x. It's going down an exponent. Is how it should happen. We have to do it again, though. You see, if we do it again then we'll go down from having x e to the 5x to just having an exponential e to the 5x. So we integrate by parts again, choosing the same way. We're going to let u be equal to x and dv be e to the 5x. The derivative of u is just 1 dx, and the integral of e to the 5x is 1 fifth e to the 5x. I've chosen to take the constant out. It's, it's hard to deal with it in there. You might lose track of it. Let's just deal what's in the box there. We're going to do the antiderivative of x e to the 5x. And then just remember that there's a negative 2 fifth multiplier on it. Don't forget the original um, part, uv, is there as well. It doesn't have an integral on it. That's why we're focusing on all our attention on this integral part here. So this box, the integral of x e to the 5x, is not going to be its own integration by parts with the uv minus the integral of v du. 1 fifth x e to the 5x minus the integral of 1 fifth e to the 5x. So we've gone down an exponent like we should. x squared e to the 5x is what we started with. Traded that in for x e to the 5x. Traded that in for just an e to the 5x all along, collecting these uv parts and not forgetting this constant out front, minus 2 fifths. At this point, it's probably best to put that minus 2 fifths on inside and get minus 2 over 25 and plus 2 over 25 times the integral. And um, that's an integral that we can just do, right? The integral of e to the 5x is 1 fifth e to the 5x. So the 2 over 25 times another 1 fifth gives us 2 over 125 e to the 5x. Okay, we have the original uv, we have the second uv, and now the simpler integral, and now plus c. We did it, but it took a while. It shouldn't take that long. There's a shortcut. The shortcut is called the tabular method. And here's, we got to know when you can do it. 
a polynomial times an exponential or a polynomial times a trig, a trig that you can easily find the antiderivative of. So that same integral that we just did, we're going to do it in no time flat. Step number one, differentiate the polynomial down to zero. So we start with x squared, get 2x by one derivative, get 2 by a second derivative, and get 0 by the third derivative. Okay, step two. Our job then is to integrate the trig function or the exponential function the same amount of times. Here's the exponential function. So one time through, you get 1 fifth e to the 5x. Another time through, you get 1 over 25 e to the 5x. One more time to match up with the same amount of times. 1 over 125 e to the 5x. Multiply along diagonals going from left, uh, going down and to the right. And applying alternating signs out front. So plus minus plus. We have these three parts to our product. And then we're done. We have the antiderivative in under a minute. 1 fifth x squared e to 5x minus 2x over 25 e to the 5x plus 2 over 125 e to the 5x. And so, when you can, you definitely want to use this shortcut. All right. So I just wanted to show you uh, a question where you have integration by parts more than once and show you how the shortcut can come in to help you out there as well. All right. Great. We're going to do some more examples on the next few videos. Um, don't be afraid if you have any questions, please ask. And uh, I'll be happy to help you. Uh, thanks for watching.